वेलकम टू माई सेशन डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रवीण उठला वर्किंग एज जूनियर साइंटिफिक ऑफिसर इन नेशनल सेंटर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग गाजियाबाद फॉर टूडे सेशन वी आर सेलेक्टिंग ए टॉपिक कॉल्ड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इनिशिएटिव एंड इंटरवेंशन फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग as i have told friends government of india is taking several uh, decisions in order to promote organic farming in india uh, by witnessing the importance of organic farming in the country and across the globe and uh, due to that it is uh, taking several steps to boost of organic farming realizing the potential of organic farming in india and for encouraging production of safe and healthy food for its citizens along with the care for the environment government of india is promoting organic farming through several schemes and uh, some of them are like parampargat krishi vikas yojana and uh, model organic value chain development for northeastern region under national mission for sustainable agriculture so uh, there are various schemes like uh, uh, national project on organic farming as well which is being launched promoting since uh, 2004 apart from that there are several sub schemes uh, for promotion of organic farming under pkvy as well as uh government of india or has also launched uh, a certification system and as well as e market e commerce platform na- named as jaivik kheti portal dear friends let us enter into the topic government of india initiatives and interventions for promotion of organic farming the slide shows Uh, regarding the various government of india schemes launched during the this decade and as well as the past decades here it is showing the organic certification pkvy pgs portal jaivik kheti dot in and as well as the jaivik bharat logo and also the india organic logo now coming to friends the organic farming we all know that it is a production system that sustains the health of soils ecosystems and people and mainly it depends upon the ecology biodiversity and cycles adapted and we can also see that it uh, mainly the depends upon and focuses on the crop rotation and as well as the manuring grain manure or the composting and as well as livestock maintenance the crop protection weed management etc and uh, looking to the the scenario the global and as well as indian scenario of organic farming there is a uh, huge market and as well as it is falling across the 181 countries and uh, around 70 million hectare land is being covered whereas uh, there are around 3 million producers across the world and there is also a, a sequential growth in the and as well as leap in the market and coming to the friends the initiatives there are several initiatives taken by the government of india as i have told earlier national project on organic farming pkvy that is paramparagat krishi vikas yojana model organic value chain development for north eastern region pgs india jaivik kheti portal and as well as npop national program for organic production and agriculture export policy for 2017 and also honorable prime minister has exhorted the farmers to reduce the chemical inputs by Uh, 10 to 25 percent and we can also see that uh, the recent approaches 
of government of india as i have told now the honorable prime minister exhorted the farmers on the 24th independence day to reduce uh, the use of chemical fertilizers under atmanirbhar bharat within the next 5 year uh, policy 14 million hectare land is to be brought under agriculture by year 2025 the uh, current land is 20 lakh hectares is merely 2% of the farm land and as well as another 25 lakh hectare land will be added in the next two years now see friends the uh, under npof the it is uh, uh, ncof is being established and ncof implements the national project on organic farming with uh, human resource development technology development and dissemination strain maintenance and supply and as well as organic for organic certification pgs and capital investment subsidy scheme for establishment of organic input production units and as well as statutory quality controls publicity and awareness programs if we see the human resource development there are different types of trainings are coming to the paramparagat krishi vikas yojana it is a, a flagship program for organic farming launched by government of india in the year 2000 15 which is having uh, various components uh, giving uh, subsidy to farmers or uh, and uh, we can see the uh, uh, component to farmers or and uh, we can see the uh, uh, components sub it is a pgy is a sub component of soil health management under nmsa and it is mainly objective is to develop soil fertility resource conservation and healthy food and uh, the pgs end will be the key approach for quality assurance under pgy you can see here right it is the paramparagat krishi vikas yojana having various components we are going to look in the following slides and it is recently has been revised as well launched in the 2015 and these are the objectives uh, as i have said to promote natural resources based on in integrated and climate resilient sustainable farming systems and to reduce the dependence the chemical fertilizers and also costs of agriculture to farmers to protect the environment and also to empower farmers to make through the support of regional councils so coming to the friends the components cluster formation and training and this is governed by or help by service providers verification of, of the and as well as certification is uh, Uh, supported by regional councils these are the authorized by government of india private or government bodies and for on farm and off farm input uh, production government of india will be transferring the amount under dbt to farmers or the farmer group account or the farmer group account value addition and processing will be look after by fpos whereas the financial breakup we can see 50000 per hectare is the cost and uh, for on farm and off farm inputs 31000 is given to the farmers for pgs verification and sample testing rupees 2700 is given whereas for value addition around 9000 rupees is being given and for training 7500 these are the various components and detailed uh, components and assistance being uh, given to farmers for example 
cluster formation and capacity building there is uh, 3000 rupees is fixed for the deployment of manpower and management cost for implementation of the program including data management and uploading 4500 rupees is allocated whereas pgs certification service charge is uh, for physical verification and certification endorsement and certificate issue 2100 and residue analysis of the right and uh, coming to the incentive to the farmers the for conversion and on form and off form inputs for marketing uh, as well as common packaging branding and uh, uh, space for rent and as well as transport and value addition for infrastructure creation through fpc and as well as fpos brand building and trade fairs exhibitions publicity organic fairs are also being covered in this scheme it is a holistic scheme and empowers farmers starting from the field preparation to the uh, marketing and as far as, far as uh, the pky budget provision and progress is concerned uh, for the years 2015 to 2018 rupees 947 crore have been allocated and sanctioned to the state governments uh, and a total 11,900 clusters around are formed and the PKY scheme nearly 2 lakhs 40,000 hectares of land has been brought into organic whereas around 4 lakh farmers have been benefited and coming to mission organic value chain development for northeastern region this is exclusively for north region whereas PKY is for total country whereas this is for the northeastern states eight states uh, we can see here this is uh, launched to uh, uh, contain or limit the chemical residue in the agriculture and it is a end to end support in the production aggregation processing and marketing value chain development is also uh, given and we can see here for functional infrastructure for collection aggregation grading units and northeastern organic bazaar rupees 15 lakhs is uh, given uh, this has a 75% uh, subsidies given to the uh, the groups of the farmers who are involved or who are the participants of this scheme and uh, the integrated processing units provision is also there TFO 18 800 lakhs or more limited to 75% to FPCs the farmer produce companies 75% subsidy will be given integrated pack house with 75% subsidy to farmer produce company on the TPC 50 lakh or more and 50% to private entrepreneurs as well transportation a four wheeler up to 12 lakhs the tfo is 12 lakhs where for which 50 percent subsidy will be given and uh, cold uh, storage vehicles refrigerated transport vehicles pre-colding and cold stores ripening the tfo is 25 lakhs the 75 percent subsidy will be given to fpcs uh, for and 50 percent subsidy to individuals Another scheme, a sub scheme, model cluster demonstration. The it is a, a sub scheme of PKVY to organize or conduct model organic demonstration a farmers field across the country to boost up organic farming among rural youth and consumers traders to disseminate the latest technology of organic farming in one or more clusters approved under PKVY. So it is being uh, uh, services are of the experts of ICR institutions, say state agriculture universities, central agriculture universities and KVKs are taken. Area of operation we can see here it is conducted in the villages across the country and three model organic cluster demonstrations shall be allocated to each organization. 
be it a private organization or a government organization mainly it is uh, uh, organized through the icr bodies and as well as state agriculture university central agriculture universities these are the implementing agencies and uh, the regional councils registered with uh, niti ayog and other public sectors organizations of dsc and fw department of agriculture cooperation and farmers welfare and the monitoring agency will be the inm division and uh, under inm division the quarterly and financial progress reports of model organic cluster demonstration shall be monitored regularly by organic farming cell at the implementing agencies after completion of 3 years uh, they are to be the report has to be utilization certificate has to be given and the impact evaluation will also be study will also be made the funding will be for 100% grant will be given to central government by the central government and we can come to the fund allocation the uh, funds for model uh, is given by dac and fw uh, an action plan shall be prepared and submitted to inm division a organic area selection criteria we can see here 50 acre land to the extent is given a minimum of 65 farmers belong to the small and marginal categories is the criteria and uh, at a cluster level should be satisfied by the mandal or uh, district level another scheme we have swachhata action plan <clears throat> the objective is to ensure hygiene and health and sanitation of villages and urban areas and urban areas by way of producing quality compost through a culture development by ncof 500 households both in villages and urban areas will be identified by the concerned district authorities who will be trained and motivated to convert available household sewage night soil into quality compost in that way as the hygiene or of the health is governed components we can see the here three components household training program on solid and liquid managed waste management demonstrations on solid and liquid ma liquid management support for in situ production in liquid liquid waste decomposer culture and composting of sewage and night soil and urban refuse including kitchen uh, city and mandi waste uh, it is a liquid solid and liquid management program and now it has been implemented through regional councils here we can see the financial the detailed layout here uh, we can see that the for components of training 25500 is allocated and uh, whereas for field demonstration 12500 and assistance to farmers per village uh, is 2000 rupees for purchase of a plastic drum and as well as honorarium for agency to prepare success story rupees 5000 that is total 7000 and per village rupees 45000 is city portal jadi city portal is an e-commerce platform uh, for organic agri produce and inputs the platform for buyer and seller with less transaction cost uh, and also the farmers can have the access for direct marketing exclusively certified organic products are available and we can see the portal website address jvkt.in which is available on the public domain it is a classic example uh, of promotion of organic farming 
by government of india wherein they have the knowledge repository and as well as input suppliers details as well as seller and buyer registrations are available and e bazaar uh, is also available uh, wherein transactions and selling and purchase activity can be done and the organic certification program launched by government of india there are two types of government of certificate organic certifications are available the participatory guarantee system for india implemented by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare and npop national program for organic production implemented by ministry of commerce and industry and the both the standards of these certifications are same nsop national standards of organic production so but the pgs is implemented through the groups approach you can see the definition of the participatory guarantee system it is a locally uh, focused quality assurance system the fa the farmers certify the producers certify themselves through involvement of the active participation of the stakeholders and it is mainly built on the foundation of trust and knowledge exchange in case of organic agriculture pgs is a process in which people in similar situation assess inspect and verify production practices of each other collectively and the pgs what is followed in the 72 countries like uh, and they have pgs south africa pgs i form and like that so on. so in order to avoid confusion it is named as pgs india as it is run by government of india we can see the labels here pgs india organic pgs south africa pgs i form and pgs organic produce is also another type of system available in india but which is not being run by or supported by government of india now we have seen the slide regarding the launch of pgs web portal and the honorable the then honorable agriculture union agriculture minister sri radha mohan singh has launched that the pgs portal on 15th july 2015 it is a low cost decentralized certification system farmer friendly and hassle free certified by farmers groups so it is a very good initiatives initiative taken by the government of india the enter certification is done online as of now there are local groups registered on the pgs portal as 35200 Ten groups, and as well as you can see the farmer numbers. Around ten lakh farmers are registered on the PGS India portal, with around six lakh hectare area offered for organic farming by the farmers. The portal is also very interesting and having several modules for. crop production uh, we can see that india is the leader in the pgs so, uh, the so as i have told different countries are following like north america south america and in the african countries also but whereas india is dominated with the producers farmers farmers more number of farmers are there around 90% of farmers of the globe are from PG, uh, india this is the organization structure uh, of course there is a uh, slight am- amendment is there the we can see that pgs farmers or farm family is the basic and fundamental step and con- 
which will be formed into local groups having five or more farmers and regional councils the government or private bodies authorized by government of india by through pgs india secretariat by pgs india nec national executive council and national advisory committee is there a local group in the local group uh, different roles have been given to farmers one farmer shall be a group leader and other will be a third document in charge and training and meeting coordinator public relation and rc coordinator peer review facilitator and through all this five or more farmers it can be 50 or 100 so many that can be feasible to manage uh, they are all in, involved in growing or the organic crops now this is a example the image of the scope certificate issued at the end of the season to each to each farmer now it is a group certificate it is decided to issue a group certificate to farmers wherein the names of the farmers will be given and the crops of the farmers will also be displayed the yields the quantity of the yields and as well as the type of crop taken by the farmers is also displayed on the scope certificate government of india is also enacted a law for regulating organic commodities in the market through fsci it is the organic regulation act for foods 2017 act this is for fsci through fsci a unique logo jaivik bharat logo is being uh, is launched and uh, in this the pgs india certification and as well as npop certification it play a major role these are the only two systems look we can see the small farmers are exempted they can sell directly to the consumers but not labeling it as organic as i have told fsi has broad regulation for organic foods in domestic market in india in 2017 which is effective from 1st july now the regulation clarifies that organic food must be certified under either npap or pgs india now we can see that steps for obtaining jaivik bharat logo first of all any person intended to sell should obtain fssi license and endorse organic products and enter they have to enter the npop or pgs number the certificate scope certificate unique id they can enter and there from there all the details are obtained from the apida and as well as pg put up or follow the same flow for the completion of fsa number now friends coming to the capital investment subsidy scheme for establishment of organic input units production units like vegetable and fruit market waste compost production unit and as well as bio fertilizer and bio pesticide production unit the subsidy back ended subsidy is given to the promoters either individual or group or any organization can be involved especially for establishment of the unit and the objectives are to promote organic farming in the country by making available the organic inputs because there is a lot of demand in the organic industry farmers are looking for the quality bio fertilizers and bio pesticides and as well as compost so 
and to increase agriculture productivity while maintaining the soil health to reduce the total dependence on chemical fertilizers and pesticides to convert organic waste to into plant nutrient resources we can see the eligible organization for establishment of biofertilizers and biopesticide production units individuals are also eligible group of farmers public growers proprietary partnership firms cooperatives fertilizer industry companies corporations and ngos there as for fruit and vegetable compost units apmcs municipalities ngos and private entrepreneurs are also eligible and whereas new as well as existing units are also eligible for this subsidy we can see here the project costs for establishment of 200 ton per annum uh, biofertilizer by pesticide production unit or uh, or liters kiloliters of the the biopesticide biofertilizer units 1 lakh sorry 1 160 lakhs 1.6 crores is the total financial outlay and uh, One rupees one ninety lakhs is for the fruit and vegetable waste compost unit (TFO). Then the quantum of subsidy we can see here: twenty five percent of the total financial outlay, subject to the maximum of rupees forty lakh per unit, whichever is less. Twenty five percent subsidy is given. See friends, forty lakh rupees is being given as a subsidy by government of India. to the promoter production unit and 33% of tfo is given for fruit and vegetable compost units production units that is around rupees 60 lakh per unit whichever is less is being given as a subsidy now release of subsidy the terms we can see the fund is placed by government of india with the nabard and the nabard releases subsidy to the units financed by commercial banks regional rural banks state cooperative banks etc and ncdc may also release subsidy to projects financed by it in the cooperative sector and which is verified by the joint monitoring committee the subsidy is released in two parts advance and as well as final subsidy 50% subsidy is released as an advance and after monitoring of the project the remaining subsidy will be released to 50% 50% will be released initially and after completion the remaining 50% will be released advance subsidy the nabard releases 50% advance subsidy to the participant bank see friends here the fund is given to the bank this is a back ended subsidy program and it is given to the bank reserve fund account of the concerned borrower when 50% subsidy would be released by participate bank on the submission of project profile come claim form after sanction of the bank loan and disbursement of the first installment of loan <coughs> the remaining 50% would be disbursed to participating banks by nabard to corporate society by ncdc <coughs> after con- conduct of an inspection by the joint inspection committee consisting of officials from financing bank as nabard or and as well as ncof or dac and their recommendation to be effect and this is called the joint monitoring inspection by the joint monitoring 
committee <coughs> this is regarding the final installment of the subsidy adjustment of subsidy to borrowers account the subsidy released to the bank for individual project will be kept in a separate borrower wise account the adjustment of the subsidy will be back ended so the total releases will be adjusted after the completion of the project uh, so it is a really a very good scheme to support the promoters for establishment of organic production in it after release of final installment uc need to be submitted by the financing bank certified that the amount of subsidy received with respect of project has been fully realized <coughs> here no interest is charged on the subsidy portion only the loan amount which is taken from the bank is charged for interest as per rbi norms the pattern of assistance we can see here friends for bio fertilizers and bio pesticides owners contribution should be 25 to 33% of the total financial outlay subsidy from government of india subject to the maximum ceiling of 25% <coughs> and bank shall give a loan of 42 to 50% whereas for fruits and vegetables owners contribution 25 to 33% subsidy from the government 33% bank loan is 34 to 40% rate of interest to the ultimate borrower as decided by the financing bank security will be as per norms prescribed by rbi from time to time and as per the norms of financing Thanks. Uh, <coughs> so this is the regarding the rate of interest and the the security deposits should be made with the bank. The repayment period depends on. upon the cash flow and may be generally up to 10 years with a grace period of 2 years same case <coughs> in case of fruit and vegetable compost unit starting from the date of commencement of the production 10 years period is given for repayment based on the cash flow <coughs> and time limit for completion of the project 15 months is given from the date of sanction of the loan by bank and the grace period may also be sought uh, with the permission of the government of india for completion of the project but it should be the permission should be obtained in prior to the uh, prescribed period and we can see here initiatives taken by nm division under ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare is promoting organic farming under sansad gram yojana in selected villages adopted by honorable mps in their respective constituencies as well as uh, we have already discussed paramparagat krishi vikas yojana launched and we have also the namami gange which is the envoy with union water resource ministry to promote organic farming on the banks of the 
river ganga so thank you friends this is about the uh, government of india initiatives and as well as interventions there are also different schemes um, which are released from time to time for supporting organic farming in the country